Good afternoon, evening, whatever time it may be. Welcome to Bars and Bells. My name is Lauren. Today we are here for a strength and swing class, so you will need a kettlebell or another object that could function as a kettlebell. Your own body weight works well too. A little bit of space. We're going to get warmed up on the floor to start, and then we're going to get into some single arm swings and push-ups today. Oh, before that, though, we have some get-ups. Some single arm swings and push-ups, but then ultimately get to our clean and presses to finish off today. Have your space, water bottle, kettlebell ready. Let's get started by coming down to the floor however you'd like and warming up our wrists. Hands spread out wide. No matter what, I like to do my wrist warm up, especially if I'm going to do my get-ups today. So hands are spread out wide. Shoulders are pulled down under your ears. Rotate so your elbow pits are forward. Keep your head neutral and gently shift your weight forward and then use your hands to push yourself back. And do the same thing again. Shift your weight forward over your hands and wrists and then use your fingers to push back. One last time, keep those elbows straight as you do that and shift back. From there, I'd like to do a 180 degree turn with those hands so fingers face your thighs. Again, pull your shoulders down. Elbow pits should definitely be forward here. And now slowly sit back into this. And feel that weight come in through the fingertips. Keep the heel of the hand heavy. Shoulders are down, head's nice and neutral. And then rock forward a little bit. Regrip the floor, spread out fingers. Sit back, pushing all of your fingers heavy into the floor. Then slowly bend your elbows. Peel your hands up off the floor. Your fingers are the last to leave. Peel, flick. Shake that out. One more um, wrist, sorry. Comments get me really excited and distracted. Oh, good, you're having a good time there. Glad you're here. Okay, over top on those knuckles. You'll gently open up over that hand, spreading fingers wide. Again, shoulder down, elbow pit forward. Then push the fuller away, coming back to that fist. Repeat again. Roll over the hand, spreading fingers out wide, pit forward, and then push the floor back to center. If you want a little more stretch like that, roll over the back of your hand, but don't open your hand this time. Keep your fist nice and tight. Tight fist, shoulder down, ooh, bigger stretch. Push the floor away. Last time, other side. Rotate over, keep the fingers tight, and then push the floor away. Great, shake that off, stay down here, sit back gently. Right now, I'm sitting back so my toes are pointed, stretching out the tops of my feet. Maybe this is easy, you'd like to add more, you can lift those knees up, you could try to oh, sit back, lean back there, then pull yourself, oh, try to keep those legs heavy. Pull yourself up tall. This time, tuck your toes and do the same thing. Have a seat back here. Feel that stretch and work through the bottom of your foot. Say hello to that. You can even touch it. Feels nice. Hello, Archie. Now, use and think about these feet because we're going to be using these and needing these toe push-offs when we get into our get-up today. One more time. Untuck your toes, sit back. This time, extend your hips, squeeze your glutes, tuck back to your tuck toes position. Rock back with or without hands. Whoop. Find your heels. Try to stay as low as you can finding your heels, but keep your spine nice and extended. Knees are pushing over toes. Get that ankle mobility. Then come back up to your toes. Try to get as high as you can on those toes and as upright as you can. As your knees slowly find the floor, try to extend Whoops. your hips forward. Pull yourself to tall. Untuck your toes and sit back down. We're going to do that all one more time. Extend, squeeze glutes. Toes tuck. Rock yourself back. Soft landing to heels. Then, this time we're going to stand all the way up. I'm so tall I have to move back. Roll up to your toes even for bonus. Knees push over your toes. Heels find the floor. Come back up to your toes. Try to sink a little lower. Heels find the floor. One more time. Up to toes. This time, butt just drops. Knees find the floor. Extend hips. Untuck. Sit low. 
Whew. Take your time. Shake that out. We're going to go a little shoulder mobility. I'd like you to stay kneeling either in this position or your tall kneel. If you really hate it, find a comfortable position. Standing is fine too. First, W. From here, slowly internally rotate, meaning the humerus is going to start rotating in. Our hands are going to slowly work towards our belt line here. Check in with your wrists. Are they nice flat scarecrow wrists? Or are they trying to reach to pretend you have more? Stationary wrists. Externally rotate. This time in that external rotation, try to find the back of your head. Again, think about your wrists, no fake e wrists. Now, drop those elbows, pull down, engage your lats, pause here, internally rotate again. As you get to the most internally rotated you can, could you pull your blades back a bit so that they're not all dumped forward? Keep those elbows in the same position, externally rotate, then slowly find behind your head again. Stay up tall, ribs to hips so we're not flaring in our T-spine. From here, do a chin-up or a pull-up, pulling your arms down to your side. Pull yourself up and relax. Coming back to all fours, we're going to get into our hip circles from there. Hands are under shoulders, knees are under hips. I'll do them really quick to show you, and then we'll do them together. So just watch this one and know this is about five times faster than we should go. We're going to bend our knee, bring it up to hip flexion first. Side, rotate around the back, end up where we started. Other direction, kick the ceiling, open up, back to flexion underneath. Hope you didn't do it that fast. You get to do it again nice and slow. Set up, hands under shoulders, nice neutral spine. So tuck, brace your abs. From here, first lift the leg off the floor by pulling it into its socket. Then pull the knee forward towards the elbow, keeping it as compressed as you can to your chest. Take that same leg, lift it to the side. Imagine I put a bowl of water on your back. Don't spill it as you slowly draw and circle around to the back of your body, kicking the ceiling, keeping that knee bent, staying square to the floor. Then pull the knee underneath to return it to center. Do the same thing but backwards, so not the same thing at all. <laughs> Kick the ceiling without arching your low back. Feel that glute. Then start externally rotating or bringing that knee around to the side, towards the elbow. And then pull the knee underneath, hold it for a second, and then place it back down to its starting position. Push off the ground, shake it off. But we have two sides, so we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Hinge, come on down, hands grip the floor. First, we did hip flexion, so we brought that other leg to full knee bend, our knee towards chest, then we lift it to the side. Don't spill your water as you go around the corner here, not tipping, reaching towards the ceiling, check in there, Are my, is my core braced so I'm not just arching my low back, engage the glute, and then pull underneath towards center. Now repeat to the back, extend, kick the ceiling, don't arch. Externally rotate, drawing that knee around towards the elbow. Don't let your bowl of water spill. You saw mine almost did. All the way to underneath. And then relax under center. Push up off those hands. Shake it out. We'll do one more. Yes, we're going to do one more overhead mobility from here, and then we'll stand up. We're going to do our pullovers because we're going to be pressing today. So we did some internal, external rotation there. Now let's get our overhead game rocking. Lie on your back, have a nice light bell close to you. Mine's a little heavy, so I might only do one rep with my bell and I might do the rest body weight. I would choose a bell that's probably around 10 to 12 pounds versus 16 kg, but we'll give it a try here. Cuddle your bell, your hands go through like this, take your thumbs up. If you don't know what you're doing, watch while I do this, otherwise let's join. Thumbs go in, grip. Roll that bell onto your back. Knees are bent, feet are flat on the floor. Take that bell and press it up over your chest. Your hands are going to come up, so your palms face forward. Don't let go. Thumbs gripping. Pack your shoulders into your lats. Make sure your chin is neutral. Brace your core. You don't have to ram your back to the floor. Just keep it tight and braced. Nothing changes as you slowly let that bell 
pull you towards overhead. Once you're there, pause, take a breath, pull it back to center. I'm gonna go ahead and do one more with this. I would suggest doing two or three. Pack your shoulder, brace your abs, slowly coming towards overhead. Breathing, and then pulling back to center. Pull your bell down, cuddle it to the side. Ah, that was nice. If you didn't have a bell, you can do that same motion, body weight, or if a bell is too heavy for you. Let's flip over, do our ankle squat to stand up. That's what we practiced earlier. So from our kneeling position, extend your hips, squeezing your glutes, adjust your pants, tuck your toes, sit yourself back with or without hands to your low squat with heels, chest lifts, up tall. Nice. Shake it out a little sip if you like. We have one more lower body warm up I'd like to do here. So standing with your feet underneath you, just turn out a little bit and step to your sumo squat position. From here, get you a clear view. From here, tuck and pull yourself down to that seated or squat like position. Now shift your weight to one side, trying to straighten that other leg and pushing the knee over the toe. Push yourself back to center. Tuck underneath as you do this again to the other side. Knee pushes over toe. Now drive away from you to come back to center. Go again, knee over toe. This time so much of a transfer. See how I have to suck that leg in? You think about lifting that leg. Lift it from the cheek, hold three, Two, two, toe ball, heel to land, pull yourself across, transfer that load again, put your other hand on your other cheek, your own cheek, lift it from that glute, three, two, one more time, toe ball, heel, pulling across, knee over toe, transfer, lift from glute, now, straighten the knee, hold a balance, three, two, knee back over toe, toe ball, heel, pulling to center, one last time, over, point, Hold, lift glute, straight knee, knee over toe, toe ball, heel to center, drive down to stand up. Step back, shake it off. I suggest you have a little sip, just like myself. And we're gonna get into some get ups here. What today's get ups would look like. is maybe just body weight or if you're ready for a load, we're gonna start at the bottom. Go to the top, at the top if you'd like, one press with the bell, and then all the way back down to the floor. Same thing, other side, four rounds total. If you don't know the get up enough to work with a kettlebell, this is fine. Do it body weight or with a light object. There's lots of videos on our YouTube channel, or if you're a member, you get direct links to how to do these things. We're going to start in our cuddle. Let's just make sure that mic is out. Little cuddle first. Roll press to our back, two-handed press. Set up in that get up position. Heavy limbs on the floor, pack your shoulder. Drive to elbow. Find your hand, lift, sweep. Hand leaves floor. Front foot moves to your lunge, stand up tall. You don't have to turn around, but I'm going to face you. One press if you'd like. Pull it down with control. Hup. Press it with control. Take it back down. Step back, lunge. Front foot opens. Use that rotate and hinge to land under your belt. Stack your shoulders. Sweep. Elbow. Control to your back. Two hands. Down. Cuddle. Same thing. Second side. Make sure you're moving yourself around the bell, or sorry, yeah, yourself around the bell or your bell around you, but not over top of you. All right, second side. Start with the cuddle as usual. Roll, press, two hands to press that bell. Heavy limbs, hip extends, pull. Hand finds floor, lift, sweep. Hand leaves floor. Front foot moves, stand up, press if you'd like. Pull it down, up, 
spit up. Step back, lunge. Front foot. Rotate, hinge. Make sure you stack those shoulders again before you sweep to your elbow. Away from your elbow, keeping your lat engaged to your back. Two hands, bell pulls down. Back to that cuddle. All right, get organized again. So you can see I'm trying to get in the right place so I don't end up with my back to you here. We're on our third get up here. Three of four, cuddle, roll and press. Use that hip drive to get to your elbow. It's not a sit up. Pack, sweep through. Out of your lunge, think about pushing the floor away from you as you stand up. One press. Get up back down. Rotate, hinge, sweep, elbow to your back. Now, I think I was talking so much that I did my left arm in a row twice. So I think I'm gonna do my right arm here. Oh, it's hard to keep track of everything. All right, what I do know is this is our final get up here in this segment. Cuddle, roll press. Use your hip extension, pull on the floor, hand, lift, sweep. Use your legs, both legs in your lunges. I'm just gonna stay with my back to you to press. Inhale down, press up, step back, lunge. Rotate, control to your back. Pull down, cuddle over, take a couple seconds, let's stand up. Get organized, get your breath, finish up your get up if you're still working on it. I'm gonna switch out. No, I'm gonna start with this bell here actually. Our next segment for two sets is gonna be warming up our press. We'll help a little bit more with some push-ups as well as some single hand stop swings, getting ready for a big set of single arm, clean, uh, single arm swings. Let's start with our swing first, and we'll start doing our stop swing. If you're unfamiliar, what that'll look like, single arm swing here. So get your bell organized, you're gonna need. What this looks like is hinging, don't go yet. Gripping, packing your shoulder, getting into that nice deep hinge position. From here, big pull, one full swing, through, park. Repeat, five times each side. Okay, let's do this together. Hinge, grip bell, pack shoulder. Inhale, pull, full swing, through, park. Repeat, pull, swing, through, park. Three more. At the top of that swing, you're in your plank position. You could take a punch to the stomach or Punch to the glutes, park, stand up without, shake it out. Same thing, second side. As you're doing the second side, think of how you're breathing, hopefully in and out your nose. Think about where that off arm is. Is it following the pattern of your swing the whole time? The answer should be yes. Here we go, set up to hinge, five stop swing, second arm, grip, pack, one full pull, through, park. Pull. You're doing your strong exhale as your hips snap through. Two more. And last one. Park. Up without. Great. I said we would work on our push ups in between this set. So push up time it is. Whether from your knees or your toes, we'll come down. Should have made us do our inchworm hinge. Oh, setting up in your push up position. Hands are slightly just wider than shoulders, but when you stack your shoulders forward, those hands at the bottom should line up with your chest. If they're too high, we're going to get all crunchy in our head, neck, and not engage and lose your, use our lats. I'll demonstrate from our knees first. Tucking hips under. First move, pull your shoulders down. Second move. 
Start bending those elbows, coming towards the floor, breaking parallel, and then up. Either work from there or come to your toes, hips are high, glutes are squeezed. Same thing for four more, five total. Pull yourself down, up, up. Pull down, up, two more. Pull down, up, last one. And slowly come to standing. If five is too many push-ups, pick a number that works for you. Second set, stop swings again. Start with your non-dominant arm. Five on this side. Use your hinge every time. Grip your bell. Pull. Through. Park. Repeat. Three more. Both hips come through at the same time. Chest and hips square forward. Last set, or sing, swing, sorry. Park. Take a couple breaths. Shaking it with those legs. Same thing, second side. Set up your hinge. Grip, pack, pull. Park. Four. Last one. Park. Whew. All right, we have one more set of push-ups. Last time we did five. I'm gonna stick to the same number. What are you gonna do? Let me know. Use your hinge. Walk yourself out. Push-up position. Pick your number. Control the down. Explosive up. Control the down. Power up. Three. Two, keep those hips high and glute squeeze. Last one. Stand back up. Bam. And out through the nose. A little drink of water. You should always try to hydrate. It's good for you. Don't know if you've ever heard that health tip before. All right, single arm swings. Simple drill, not easy. Five minutes of work. Every 30 seconds, we, sing, we swing five continuous reps of single arms. Let me show you. Times to go. Set, five single arm swings. Park the bell, shake it off. Wait for the next 30 seconds, do it on the other hand. Repeat it 10 times or five times. However you wanna think about it. Get ready, sorry to rush you, but we're gonna go in three, two, use your hinge, grip, five continuous swings, one. Park. As you recover, staying loose, in and out through the nose. Getting ready for a second set here. This is gonna be the second hand or the other hand you used, whatever you'd like to call it. Ready, three, two, round two, five. Park, that's one minute. We have four more to go, just like that. Find the appropriate bell if you felt like that was too heavy for this. Find a lighter one, just right, stay there. I'm gonna keep my reps this whole time at five. You could add a rep every time if you'd like. Make sure you can stick to that. Here we go, round two, five. As I'm doing my swings, I'm thinking about all the things we talked about in our warm up today, using my hinge on every swing, staying square to the floor, following through with that off arm. Three, two, second side, go. Park. Good. Breathing, shaking out feels good. At the top of that swing, extend your arm. Reach forward with your blade. Now pull it back into its socket and screw it in. That's where you should be at the top of your swing. Don't let that bell go forward. Three, two, one, go. Round three, five.
Every time that bell is swinging to the chest height, arm extended, packed, plank at the top. Get ready. Five seconds. Second side of round three. Three, two, here we go. Five. Back. Good. Breathe in. Nose. Coming up to round four. What are you thinking about? Driving both hips through, keeping your feet flat and gripping the floor, especially those toes. Three, two, round four. Soft landing every time you park that bell. In and out the nose. 10 more seconds. Second half of round four. And then one more minute here. Get ready. Three, two, use your hinge, grip your bell, pull. Back. Breathing. I just caught a glimpse of my hair there. Really flops about nicely in the swings. 10 seconds. Last minute of this. Fives each side, slow that breath down before we go. Hinge, grip, five. Breathing, staying loose. One more set. I'm trying to play a little bit more chicken with that bell as it falls. Try not to move until the last second. Last set of swings here. Three, two, five. Park. Don't go too far away. Close your mouth. Breathe in and out your nose. Try to slow your breath down as you're doing that. You can put one hand on your belly and one hand on your chest and try to fill that belly hand big every time as you take those recovery breaths for just five more seconds with intention. Last breath. So that was about 30 seconds from the time I put down my bell in that last set. I feel pretty recovered, might have a sip, ready to rock some more out. We're gonna finish today with some cleans and presses. I'm gonna size up a bit on this bell compared to what I was using. <laughs> that doesn't mean you have to, this is what I'm working on. What we're gonna do, is, <laughs> I'll show you it with the lighter bell. One clean, so from that stop or park position, one full clean through, get to your pressing stance, one strict press, pull it down, through, and park. We're gonna start with ones on each side. And then we might try for twos. Twos is gonna mean clean press, clean press. Twos on each side. Maybe we work up to threes. That's clean press, clean press, clean press. Say that five times fast. I'm gonna try to make my pyramid go one, two, three, two, one. That's what I did the last time and I've only once hit three with this bell. So that's my goal. We have five sets of this. You could pick the number five, but that's a lot. I would try to get a heavier bell and advocate for lower reps, but heavierness. Heavierness, it's a word, look it up. All right. We start with a clean and a press. Get organized, get set up. You'll notice that when I do my clean, I actually step into my press position right away. You can do that, or you can finish your clean and then step to press. Both are fine. Just make sure they're distinct steps, purposeful, and you do the same thing every time. Ready, hinge, grip your bell, 
Clean first and then press. Pull it down, through and park. Whew. We're gonna give a little time in between just in case people are pumping out their three to five reps every set. In another five or so seconds, we'll just do the same thing on the second side. Same number as the first round. Here we go, three, two, same number as the first side, go. Hmm. Nice breath. We're coming back to the first side, round two. I've gone up, I'm picking number two this time. So I'm gonna go clean and press, clean and press. Get organized. Here we go, hinge. Get your number, go. Ooh, bam, celebrate it, whatever you got. If you don't feel comfortable working on your presses, maybe you're just doing your cleans. Also great, get ready. Second side, same number, three, two, two, well, your number. You know, I've been pretty good at that nose breathing. I find it really hard. I can run when I, I can nose breathe when I run. But, sorry, I'm trying to talk and do it at the same time. I find it very hard when you're pressing heavy weight to not let it escape your mouth. All right, we're on round three here. I'll work on that. You work on what you're working on. Ready? First side, I'm going threes. Ooh, I know, it's a little tippy for me on number three. Shaking it out. Get ready, that second side. In five. Same number, second side. Three, two, here we go. Nice. That was my celebratory mouth closed. Mm -hmm. Ten-ish seconds. We're going to come down the pyramid. We have two more sets left. Maybe yours wasn't a pyramid. Maybe it was just a line. What's the opposite of a pyramid? Mm -hmm. Anyway, enough about that. Two. Hinge. Grip. Clean. I'm on twos. Hmm. Nice. Breathing. 10 seconds or so, second side. Get ready. Second side, second last set. Here we go, use your hinge. Good clean, both hips come through. Park, Whew. breathe in. Great, one more set, right? Right, good answer, glad we're on the same page. I'm down to singles. Last set, here we go. Side one. Hmm. 
Hmm. Break between sides. Don't rush. We have lots of time. Shake it out. Shake it out. All right. Second side. Last set of cleans and presses. Hinge. Grip. Clean. It's up. And park. Whew. Nice. Close your mouth. Breathe in and out your nose. Maybe move your bell off to the side, just as you're catching your breath here. I'd like to finish up with a little rotating, but also breathing move. I'm gonna to come to kneeling. I'd either recommend kneeling or seated on a chair. You could stand, just stand with your feet wide. It'll help block your hips. I'm gonna give you a bit of a quarter turn here as we do this. Hmm, take that breath, good. I'm gonna cross my arms. Still continue to breathe in and out my nose. From here, think about lifting up, not in the shoulders, but in the core, and rotating one direction. Head only rotates as far as your sternum or your center line. Right now, that's where my thumbs are. Then pull yourself back to center. Same thing, other side. Bring breath in. Rotate. Exhale as you rotate, trying to find some space, and then pull yourself back to center. We're gonna add some more. Up. Inhale, exhale, rotate. Now can you side bend off that corner there? And then pull yourself back up to tall. Unrotate yourself back to center. Other side. Inhale, rotate. Exhale, side bend. Pull yourself back up. Rotate back to center. One more rotation, no side bend. Lift yourself up. Rotate, stay, breathe in. Exhale, try to rotate further. Pull yourself back. Last one. Inhale, rotate. Exhale, try to rotate further. Pull yourself back to center. Whew. Hard to breathe while you in and exhale and talk and rotate all at the same time. Well, thanks for joining me tonight on our Strength and Swings class. My name is Lauren. This is Bars and Bells. Hopefully you're a member. If you're not, you should be because you should be enjoying this so much you just want to do it every week. So come get the inside scoop. Check out our website, barsandbells.com, for more information or in-class classes. We'll see you soon. Thanks for coming. Remember to like and subscribe. Goodbye. <laughs>